Hey everybody, Scott Smith, Rustnack BMW in Thousand Oaks, California. Check out this brand new M4 convertible. Black sapphire metallic with the black leather interior. Check out the body lines on this thing. Let me talk to you about it. Start off in the front, we did order it with the double ribbed M uh, kidney grills. That was port installed here when it hit the United States. It's got the um, adaptive xenon headlights and then look at the detail in that lower front bumper. That's that signature bumper that comes with the M4 coupe and convertible and along with the M3. Now this one's been ordered with the 19 inch black wheels. Also this car comes standard with the M compound brakes. Uh, you've got four piston up front, two piston in the back, 15 inch discs in the front, check those things out, and then you got 14.6 inch discs in the rear. Let's go to the back, get a little rev time with Vanessa. Check out this exhaust, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, Vanessa, that was awesome. Hey guys. <laughs> Woo, how's it going? Check out the space All right, in the back. let's check out the back, guys. Now, Vanessa, you're what? 5'1, 5'2? Five, 5'. Five, okay, 5'. Five. Five okay. So, guys, yeah, check it out. We shouldn't have any problem with Vanessa back here. Plenty of room, definitely. That's one thing about being the hard top. You got a lot of shoulder width back there, which is nice. All right, Vanessa go ahead and jump out now one thing guys with the girls dress nicely as you can see they can stand straight up get out easy so it's not hard okay let's go ahead and go to the back all right so here we have the easy access I yeah call it a little transformer nice yeah, so guys, this is an easy way, ladies, to get back to the rear cargo space in the trunk. As you can see, there was a small little slit there, so what we do, pull up the protective shield. There you go. Plenty of space. Let me reach back in there and get this rear uh, access field. Now, that goes all the way through, guys. There's your sun, your uh, wind deflector, excuse me, is stored between the seat and the rear trunk. So it does have a pass through. I'm gonna pull down the shield. And Vanessa, if you can drop it down. It's pretty quick too, guys. And there in the button, they do have a green light to let you know when it's finished. There we go. Then you don't have to slam the trunk, it'll self seal. Okay, Vanessa, let's go up to the front, show them underneath the hood. Pull this twice, guys. Vanessa can just pull up on it. Guys, there's that signature carbon fiber strut brace all the way up to the front of the car. Now this comes with an M twin power twin turbo three liter inline six, 425 horsepower at 5,500 RPMs. And you got 406 in, in torque starting at 1850. Car zero to 60, 4.2 seconds with the double clutch transmission. And it's 4.4 with the manual transmission. All right, so Vanessa, let's go ahead. You wanna put the top up? We'll show the guys how that works. Also, this thing weighs about 525 pounds more than the uh, coupe, guys. It's not far off in zero to 60. Now, this takes right around 20 seconds, so it's pretty quick. BMW does say you can do it at very low speeds when you're moving, but I'd recommend not doing that. It's always cool watching how they design this whole mechanism. Very nice. And as you can see, guys, it'll put up the windows. Cool, Vanessa. Thanks for your help. Bye, guys. See ya. All right, guys, let's go over to the sticker. We'll go over some of the options on this one. Now, guys, you were probably wondering about this exhaust. This is the M Performance exhaust. As you can see, they got laser etched M on there on these titanium silver tips. Um, I know there's an option to do carbon fiber covers on these if you want, which I've done on some of my other videos. And look at the detail of this back bumper. Definitely, I appreciate all the time and effort that went into designing this car.
one thing I know about the convertibles, you know guys with the M series and the M families, a lot of times about the speed and performance, but man, one thing out here in California, as you can see guys, we got some great hills. So one thing to mention, we got some awesome roads up here in the canyon. So it's one thing about having some fun in these canyons with the top down and just experiencing it with no roof, no windows around you. So if you do live somewhere like this, definitely please get one of these cars. All right, guys. So hopefully this is coming into focus for you. Can't see too well with the sun here in my eyes, but I'll slowly go down the sticker. You can see this one's pretty well loaded. It's got the right um, adaptive M suspension, which I'd recommend, especially for an everyday driver or through the canyons. But you can see a lot more standard equipment too. For 1200 bucks, they put in the uh, Harman Kardon surround sound. They put in the satellite radio for a year and the comfort access, which all that stuff retails for uh, more than 1700. So definitely a nice benefit when they do upgrade the uh, base price. They do usually throw in some really nice items. Made in Germany. There's the gas mileage with your convertible as you can see there. All right, let me just do another quick walk around for you out here. Let's get this guy to focus, excuse me there. I think I'm wearing out my Note 4. <laughs> Man, this thing looks nice. I'll give you a little rev time when I get inside. Definitely still has an awesome look, even with the top up. I mean, with these wheel wells flared out, functional uh, wheel well diffuser vent there in the rear, helps with efficiency, efficiency dynamics. Hey, everybody. <laughs> All right, guys, some of the highlights here on the 16s. As you can see here for the heated steering wheel, got a little highlight trim around it. Got the silver buttons now, the back seat. Had some nice highlight silver there around the vents. So nice little touches. Also, one thing I do like is this black shadow line exterior kind of brought into the car, you know, from the outside. I know it's slightly a different color, but definitely just a nice aggressive look. Let's get inside the car here. All right. And also a nice upgrade was also the uh, white uh, numbering and stuff that you do have during the day. Also the black, the black kind of a chrome highlight finish here. Pearlescent silver on the knobs. And then you've always got that nice carbon fiber. And one thing, guys, this does have a carbon fiber drive shaft in it, which is about 12 pounds lighter than a conventional shaft. Also, the car's are just under 185 inches long. And, um, you know, the, you already got the 0 to 60 earlier. And you guys, you can see here, contrast stitching. And so you can see here, you get the extender, which you don't see in the M3. So that's kind of cool they kept that in the convertible. This one's got the neck warmers. You also got the glowing badges, definitely at night. Something cool when you're walking up. Double clutch transmission. Got some good storage in the armrest. Good size glove box. Well, I got the windows closed, guys. Let's give you a little rev time on this. That's inside the car. Yeah, that performance exhaust definitely does sound different. And I also think it's lighter, guys, than the original exhaust, so a little weight savings there. Good cup holders, shortcut buttons across the screen, as you can see. You can set for addresses, phone numbers for quick calling. Also, I put up one of the um, BMW Connected apps, the weather up there on the side there, because you can do a split screen. So it's is included, guys. Car has its own 3G connection for three years. You get the online services. Currently, it's a 4.2 version iDrive. Advanced real-time traffic is included for three years. You got your signature dead pedal over there on the left. Sticker still on it for protection, but just a nice touch. And then, as you guys all know, I love the steering wheel. If you guys do have a chance, definitely go in, experience the car, check it out, see if you can take it for a spin. 
I know most of my clients, they definitely want these cars with virtually no miles on it. So as you can see, this one's got eight. Now your M buttons are right here, guys, M1, M2, okay? You can set that up if you want to in the iDrive, so you can definitely see everything that you can set up. Just go to the top of the settings, then you can just hit on each of these. Great way to uh, change the attitude of the vehicle very quickly. Also, down here, you've got all three engine management, suspension, also steering. So that way, right here in the dash, you can play with it right there in the center. You can pick what you want, and you can do your suspension, and then there you are with your steering. And then just hold down the M1 button. There it goes, boom, sets those for you quick. You can go ahead and do that really quickly with uh, the M2 also. So let me put the top down real quick. We'll do that again least from the driver's seat one thing you notice too guys with the hard top if someone is sitting in the back there's no intrusion intrusion into the cabin so they don't need to duck their heads or anything like the uh, remember the old school convertibles e46s the padding would come down and bump you in the back of the head so you don't have to worry about that at all also you can see it tells you right there the top is done all right get outside take another look hey thanks for watching guys if you got any questions or if you're looking for a car you know please send me an email definitely have a good weekend bye bye